In the beginning of the game, you will be given a brief tutorial on how things work, but it doesn't cover everything you need to know. Good morning, or good evening, wherever you are. I am DeweyNM23 from Sergeant Dewey Gaming. Today's video is a request from one of you guys. It was asked about making a video for the early stuff you need to know for Last Fortress, so here it is. When you first start the game, there are many things a new player has questions about. How do you move your city? How do you look for resources? What researches do you do? How do you increase your CP? These are some of the questions that are asked and we are going to go over them today. Moving your city is a very fundamental part of the game. There are three ways to do so. The first one is your normal construction. This will take some time depending on how far you are from the location you want to go. Click on the place you want to go and then click relocate. Three options will pop up. For the first option for the relocation, all you have to do is click dispatch construction and it will send a construction truck to the spot. Depending on the location you are at, it could be a two to four hour wait time. That is if you are not constructing in your alliance's territory. If you are in your alliance's territory, it will take around eight minutes to complete. The second option is relocate to the main city. Once used, this option can be done again every 12 or so hours. It will take you back to your alliance's main city. From there, you can place anywhere in the main city's territory instantly. The third option is random relocation. You can use this option two to three times a day, depending on level, and will refresh at reset. You can also cancel your construction if you need to. Now remember, all your lineups must be in your fortress before you can relocate. When you first start out, try joining in an active alliance. By being in an active alliance, you'll be able to join rallies, get help assists, be able to get rewards when the alliance defeats mutant zombies, when you buy things, you'll also be able to purchase items in the alliance shop. And when city wars come about, it'll be easier to help take those cities and other things. Combat power, or otherwise known as CP. A lower CP doesn't always mean you're a weaker player. It depends on how your lineups are, the troops you have, building upgrades, and research completed. Researches are a big key in the growth of your city. They help with construction, resource production, and also your lineup strength. And after the first two weeks of a new server, the Alliance Dual Research can be worked on to help achieve maximum points and rewards. So I'll always remember to have research going. All buildings are important. Only some buildings are more important than others. If you only have three production heroes that are placed in your workstations, you need to make, and you don't have Nate, you need to make sure you have a free hero to collect your resources in your base. The main buildings you will want to focus on at the beginning are your control center. That's the main building to increase your level your troop buildings so you can produce the appropriate troops for your level, upgrade your APC, your first one is free. The first APC, every level you do is free as it can be the same level as your fortress, your control center. Your food output buildings to make sure you have enough to cover your survivors that you get. You can put your survivors in the mines to get more resources inside the base. There are many other buildings to upgrade that will ensure the growth of your city, so in truth, upgrade as quick and as much as you can. The moon is a very big thing. Always use it. Once all the research is complete, and it will, it will increase your resting speed up to 90 minutes. That's a humongous boost. Do the daily task to increase this moon's percentage, and at 100%, use it to speed up. Depending on your research level, as of the new update, you can get up to 180 minutes, like I said earlier. By doing so, construction time, research, training of troops, and many other things will take less time to complete, which means you can get right back to researching and constructing again. When you get gear, equip it. At first, you will not have the appropriate gear, but as you level up, it'll get better. It'll be better. It'll help your heroes get certain buffs. Ways to get gear is through expedition, the gear factory, events, and various other things. Make sure the right gear is on the right hero. 
and level it up as much as you can. Do the expedition as much as you can. You can start it at least once a day. It is now more important than ever. And to use the gear factory, you can do the explore option and you'll get the materials you need for the gear factory. You'll also be able to craft the materials and once you have enough materials, you can forge that new piece of gear. Stay tuned for the next video in this Beginner's Tip 2 part saga. This is Sergeant Dewey, signing off. Till next time. We'll <laughs>